the main thing we fight, amen, is this lust. There's nobody preaching and talking on it. Nobody telling us to flee from this, this sexual deviant immorality act. Nobody wants to speak on. Mm -mm -mm. Wait for a few people to get up ahead, man. Because <clears throat> I know, like the word of God says, man, there is nothing um uncommon that's overtaken thee. But what is but what is such as com is common to man. And so I'm back out here to talk on something that is needed to be talked on because nobody else want to talk about this lust, this masturbation. And this is the main thing that for many women, man, when it feels good to operate in the spirit of the living God and then late night, you know, this is where we hopefully uh, <clears throat> I just had to do that. But yeah, man, um, at these late nights, man, you know, doing the will of the Lord. Everything is, it's, it's, it's all right. It's okay going through the days. And then it's these certain parts in our days. And the preachers and the teachers, nobody is talking about the lust. Nobody is talking about this, 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 this one avenue that is natural for a man and for a woman to desire a man or a woman, right? But it ain't natural for us to be at the end of our, at, you know, at, at the end of the night or early in the morning, lusting, right? Watching and setting our eyes upon the thing of of what sinners are enticing in, in themselves into. When so one of the words, uh, let me huh, calm down a little bit. But one of the uh, scriptures, one of the verses in the Word of God says that I will not set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hated the work of them who turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. So one we know fornication is pornography, bro. And so why don't nobody preach on these things? Why is nobody targeting these things that's actually defiling our minds over time due pleasure? And pleasure right there is a silent killer. Many of us know it feels good, but now it don't feel good no more because Jamal want peace. And my peace, what I want is it isn't being able to submit to the spirit of the living God and not being able to hearken and follow the flesh, the voice of the flesh. Are y'all tired of masturbating? Are y'all tired of uh, uh, feeling like you're condemned because the body just continuously does the things that it wants to do and you want to follow God? This is a touchy tough. This is a toughy subject because many people, they don't want to stare the truth in the face. They rather run away from the fact that they know that the body it's the body. God is trying to show us something, right? He is trying to even Paul spoke about how if I do what I don't will to do. Right. Then it ain't no more than me that do with it. But it is the body. It is the sin that dwelleth in me. It's sin that is dwelling in our members. And nobody is teaching us how to fight that battle of sin. Nobody is teaching us the things that the most high put in his word through mystery that we might be able to go in and repair these breaches that we might be able to be able to have self-control. Might be able to long suffer in this area that I might not hearken to the voice of the evil one when he gets to speaking, when he gets to put these uh, imageries in my head that makes me want to go back into the world. That's when we need the word of God to come and battle out that out. Come on. I want peace. And I know that this perversions of this masturbation and, and, and then one women, let's be honest, because. One, I'm a man of God and I want to be peaceful in the spirit. And so the enemy right now, he's using what we can't understand to draw us at odds with each other. He's using that to, to draw us in bitterness and anger and no true love and no genuine affection towards each other. But just confusion. Um, It's like we still it's like the desire is there, but it, the, 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 the desire is not natural. It's like this porn and this porn. Not, it's, it's robbing my natural desire. It's robbing my, my genuine love from a woman because now being a man of God, when you start to work, walk away from the world, you only want peace. And then so it's like when you start to see that the enemy is drawing you into lust and then you start to see how women operate. And it's like you have no opportunity to be in peace because wherever you are, whether you are in a store, whether you are in your home, you have lust. Amen. And so we need to learn how to. Be able to be strong and strengthened in our own mind because lust is everywhere. The world is wicked and evil. So my mind right now has to be so in the heavenly places that I 
right? When I am in these areas that I, I, I'm so spiritually grounded, it's like how Paul was locked up, but he wasn't locked up because he was in the spirit. He was in praise. He wasn't worrying about his circumstance. So the flesh is so easily manipulated. It wants to worry about the circumstance, the right there, the right, right here and now. And this is what's getting us in trouble because we don't have the spiritual strength to operate in the spirit when it's time to. When it's time to, it's when that lust rise up in us at the end of the night or early in the morning before we turn these things on. It's like, how, my God, can we get to the point to where we're walking in spirit when it is needful? Because the, the Lord, our God, he said that there is a time and a purpose. There is a purpose for a, a season and a purpose, right? And so we need to be trying to see what is our season right now that the Lord wants us to see right now as men and women of God while we are what? desiring better right so what we're going through right now it isn't just so that i could be free from spiritual war but god as as a soldier sometimes you have to go through something so that you can teach somebody else or help somebody else that they might not be able to what get hit how you got hit right because we are supposed to get and then give the whole duty of a man of god is so that i can bring help and hope through what God did for me in these certain situations so that you can see that you can make it out. So that you can see that you, you too, because I, I understand the problem of masturbation. I know what it does on the mind. I know how it kills the natural, the, the natural affection for a man and a woman. And I know right now that the enemy is using this to get us to be bitter, to hate women right now. To, he, because all he wants you to do is hate. He wants you to hate and he wants to what? He Bro, it's always, I wish people stopped talk, stop calling me during this time, bro. Like, it's just so many people, they always want to keep calling me, keep calling me, keep calling me. And it's just, I'm about to change my number, too. I got to, uh, and, and, and the main part that I'm trying to get to, right, in this video is we have to separate. What we're not doing as men and women of God, we're not separating ourselves from evil. We're not in the home doing the work that's actually needed. We're not fasting. The reason we're constantly falling back to this lust, constantly falling back into this sin, which God is delivering us from if we continue to believe. But what did Jesus tell us? Yes, 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 I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you, but obedience is better than sacrifice. See, on the outside of our obedience is our blessings, is our wife. It's those things that we desire, but right now we cannot get a to though we cannot obtain these things until we are obedient the lord wants our obedience the lord wants our obedience the only way that we can actually get to being obedient is if we kill the flesh is if we actually fast and actually do the things that we, how we're still constantly living in the same lifestyle where our day has not changed much more from when we are Christians to when we wasn't. So that right there tells you that your mindset has not truly changed. Our lives need to be filled with fasting. It needs to be filled with prayer. It needs to be filled with giving to the homeless. It needs to be filled with fellowship. It needs to be filled with operating in the living, the spirit of the living God. But this is what it means to sell out. This is what it means to sell out, brothers. We have to fast. It says that if you fast, you will not sin. My son, if you fast, you will not sin. The body is full of wickedness. The body is full of evil devices. And we have to repair the breach by, dis by starving this body. By starving this body of these desires. That's why Paul said, I crucify the flesh daily. So that means that they fasted. You crucify your flesh to teach your flesh who is boss. Many days we continue to do what? Pander to the flesh. Because when the flesh start to speak, when he start to get hungry, when he's lusting, he's starting these different verse, uh, different vast forms of, of, of desires of the body start to go crazy in you. And we don't know how to spiritually, I mean, spiritually see the spiritual way out of the things that God said that the, the temptation is there. But the Lord has given us a way out. There's a way out from every temptation, from every evil, uh, seducing spirit that wants to transgress, to get you to transgress, to take your peace, to take your time away from operating in the spirit of the living God. We have to submit. No one is submitting. Why? Because no one is talking about submission. We are just getting these people coming out here talking this and talking that. But in our lives, we still are living in hell. I'm still living, I'm still living in hell in my mind. It, it doesn't benefit you to talk about Christ. It don't benefit you to speak Christ, to keep posting Christ. If you're not even benefiting off of what you are giving to everybody else, how is it that we're supposed to get, deliver peace, but we're not actually being able to bite into the peace that we're actually giving out? If I got the king of peace, I might want to have the peace for myself. And let's be honest, we don't have no peace when we start to fall short due to these things. Are we condemned? 
Well, if you use if you're using grace to go and masturbate, you're con then you're use you're sinning willfully. Then after that, there's no there's no sacrifice. But those who hate this, those who desire to get into righteousness, those who desire not to hearken to that evil voice when it pop up, to cast down that evil imaginary thought when it pop up, you have to fast. We're not fasting enough. They're not talking about it enough. Why? Because the people that ain't fasting, how can they talk about fasting? How can they give you what they can't do? How can they give you what they're not doing? No one is talking about this seriousness. Why? Because many people are in the trap. The free, the, the, the Freemasons, the pastors, the preachers, the teachers, many of us are still caught. We are still caught in the loop of lust. We are still caught in the loop of these evil, wicked perversions. And that's why nobody's talking about it. Everybody's shouting and screaming about Jesus Christ, but everybody's still falling short, still watching porn, still masturbating. Why? Because we have not turned our eyes away from evil communication. We have not did the thing that God is telling us to do that we might be granted peace through his ways. He wants obedience and obedience come by following his word. And if we can't follow his word, there's a reason. There's a reason why we can't follow his word. Why? There is a breach in the body that needs to be repaired. God wants you to be the repairer of the breach. And he's using you and me right now for this task that we might be able to go and repair the breach to do what? Be called the restorer of the past to dwell in. Amen. This is what we want to do. No, nah, I didn't watch that video, bro. I don't I don't really barely watch videos. My 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 I'm in the spirit. I'm trying to be in the spirit. I my my job ain't really my my salvation ain't me watching videos, brother. My salvation is me coming and doing doing the work on my own. I have to do the work on my own. I have to get in the spirit on my own because I'm beat down on my own. I need the Lord on my own. I want his peace on my own. I want peace. I want to be in righteousness with my Lord. I don't want to be in the world. I want to be in the spirit. And many of these times, man, sometimes you got to go get in the go get in the secret place with the Lord. Go get in the secret place and cry out to the Lord because we got so many things innerly and we never know how to get it out because we stay focused on watching. We stay focused on seeing people talk about the battle, but I want to fight my my own battle. I'm here so that y'all can see, man, we got to go to the Lord. We got to deny the flesh. We got to put off of that, put off of this fleshly man. And the only way that you can do it is to kill him daily. It's too fast daily. We have to repair the breach and nobody's talking about it. This sexual lust, right? Yeah. This sexual lust is what's going to get many people uh, casting it to where there's weeping and the gnashing of the teeth, but no one's talking about it. It's natural for a man to want a woman, for a woman to want a man, but we have to know how to set our affection in a heavenly place that we not hearken to the voice of the devil that we not hearken to the voice of the enemy amen glory to god bro it's all it's all good bro anyways man i i want to i want to turn to something man isaiah 58 because the preachers you never hear people talking to this they always keep talking about these stories man but this sexual lust is the reason why i can't get no peace this is the reason why you people might be in a relationship with somebody that they actually that actually love them but they can't see the truth they can't see the spiritual uplifting they can't see the goodness of that person why because they minds and their souls are saturated with sin it's saturated with images it's saturated with these visions it's saturated with things that ain't even true it's saturated with pleasure and pleasure is not peace and so if your pleasure is peace then you will never have none and that's what we're looking for it ain't about peace with a woman it's about pleasure it's about pleasure on the eyes pleasure on the senses of what i see why because our minds due to this body is to it, 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 it is defiled right these images these things that are stuck on this body won't even be able to you can't even operate in the spirit why because we have not fasted we have not repaired the breach we have not killed the flesh let's go to isaiah though man Let's talk about it because the fact that no one wants to talk about these things because everyone is suffering from it. It's easy to keep talking about Jesus Christ, but let's talk about the sexual, the sexual deviancies that we have going on. Let's talk about the sexual, evil, demonic, witchcraft, working spirit of divination and of witchcraft that's continuing to draw in our minds to watching people having sex and fornicating, masturbating, and whatever else porn you watch. You got women watching homosexuality porn, and even men, we're watching a whole, yeah, but it's the things that you don't want to talk about, and because you don't want to talk about it, you're going to be blotted out because you don't want to identify that you have a problem that you need to go to the physician for you're going to be blotted out he said uh, uh you can ch you can try to cover up your transgression if you want to you will be you're you would die in that but to those who confess that they sins they will be shown mercy if you're not confessing your sins you will be given no mercy why because this is all about what i am able to uh, um what i am able to show about his love 
And what I like, people want to be seen like good people, but everybody is going through the same deviancies, the same perversion. So y'all who act like y'all are suffering from nothing are the main people suffering from, 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 from death, right? They are the main people that's actually dying because they're so dead in the spirit that they worry about what you feel about them more so than what God fears about them because they don't fear the spirit. They fear man. Many of us can't tell. We, we won't talk about our masturbation, masturbation problems. We won't talk about how we can't look at a woman naturally or how women, they can't even look at women or men naturally because they suffering from the same thing we suffering from. They like women and they like men. Why? It's the evil communications we're constantly stuck in. It's the TVs. It's the stuff that we won't give up and we got to give it up. And we actually never start to do the things and give up the things in the world. I know it hurts, but that's what the cross is. Giving up the stuff and it feels like death to our souls. It feels like death to you not to watch those TV shows that you know bringing you into lust. These TV shows we think ain't pulling us into lust, but it's pulling you into lust. It's pulling you into thinking about the things that you don't have at the end of the night. When I see somebody else with a man or, or, or with a woman, and, and I'm like, and that's a wife, or like, and that, it ain't even that. Y'all know they putting many other wicked seeds into your mind. What do you think that's going to produce when you see two? Come on, and you can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to your spirit. So men, we could try to lie and act like those girls that look 14 and 15 you could try to act as though that they aren't attractive but you know and i know that they are attractive and you know and i know that we are not supposed to be an, an attractive or in our minds we're supposed to throw that cat that thought down but guess what the enemy knows if you keep setting your eyes on it he know you will lie to the world but innerly you'll keep looking you'll keep desiring you won't say no in your mind but you'll say no outerly and how do you say no in your mind that you deserve that you turn away your eyes from watching it because the thought is going to be planted on your mind anyway the majority of these dudes that try to act so big like they don't like little girls let them keep going through life they will like little girls let them keep going through life and you will see that the body is evil and there is no numbers on wants and when the older the body gets the more wicked it gets the older that the body gets the more value of sick and pervert you can say whatever you want about a pedophile but if you don't repent if you don't fast if you don't actually do the work that Jesus is saying to get out of the flesh, you will one day be a pedophile. And guess what? A pedophile starts in the mind. It starts in the mind. It starts in the seeds. It starts with the pornography of when we're searching and looking. Yes, but no one wants to talk about these things. Why? Because the taboo things is what everybody doing. No one wants to go into the closet where there are skeletons. We are all your skeletons need to come out now. You need to speak about your skeletons now. You need to go to God now. All of these things right here is what Jesus wanted. He did not condemn you. You will condemn yourself if you don't put these things out and about. I'm not worried about how nobody going to judge me. Why? Because God see every little wicked thing that I do. God see every secret that, that, that I do. So there's no reason for me to do what? Uh, um, yeah, we say we're trying, but are you trying to fast? Many of us keep talking about you trying to get out of this lust. You don't have no script to do nothing. You don't have no script to overcome that evil. God does. God has to be able to work in you when you're not working on your own and you got to fast. This is why I'm making this video. If you're not fasting, you will have no breaches repaired. You're going to continue to fall in the trap. I myself as well am going to continue to fall. And it's why until I understand that God need me to kill it. You can't keep playing with the devils. You can't keep playing with the enemy. You have to kill the enemy. We want to keep the enemy around. These the communications. It's this Instagram. It ain't doing nothing for you when you get on Explorer. When you get on Explorer, when you just see these reels, what is it? It's lust. It's the vice for the enemy to do what? To send you away. My, my boy. It's the vice of the enemy to send you away. Why? Because God says evil communication corrupts good manners. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what Jamal say. All that matters is what is what is in my eyes. What communication am I, am I letting into my mind? Because whatever I'm letting into my mind, that's where I'm going. It doesn't matter. God wants us to cut these things off. And it's hard because we got, bro, it's, it's hard. It's hard to stay in the spirit all day. Because when you feel like the world, just, just sitting and being and being in the world is a depression. Not a depressant, but um, you know, uh, 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 yeah, like a depressant. Like I'm, I'm uh, or maybe I'm not using the right word, but you know, like how you de you 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 got all this built up, and you feel like it's something to depressure, right? To to get it out, to depressurize yourself. That's what we feel like the world is when we watching these certain TV shows. We work hard at at, at work, and then it's when we go home, and then it's uh, to depressure. But it's like it ain't really depressurizing. You might be. Feeling like they're depressurizing, but to truly depressurize is to get in the spirit, not in the flesh. Decompress, right? But uh, uh, let's read Isaiah 58, though, real quick. 
right? So this is what God is saying. He talked about a group of people who were seeking him daily and they were delighted to know his ways. All right. And they were talking about Israel, the chosen seed who he had chose, but they, and they was fasting. They was doing something, but they did it for a certain reason. Listen to what God says, right? Um, I'm gonna go straight to the point of the fast. It says, wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not. Wherefore have we afflicted? So they said that and God told them and thou seest not. It says, for what reason have we fasted? This is what we say. Because when we fast, we're supposed to. So he's just checking your reason and your why you're doing it. Why? Because God is intentional. Our God is intentional. You can give Jamal something. You can tell Jamal something that's good about him. But what's your intentions about why you're saying it? Is it from the heart or are you trying to gain something for you? Because God is always about the attention, right? Because Jesus said that there'll be many to cast out de demons in his name and did many wonderful works in his name. But he will tell them, I would, I never knew you depart from me. Ye who work iniquity. Iniquity because they, that, uh, the, uh, um, where their mind was when they were doing the will of God, it wasn't so that he would be glorified. It's so that they would be glorified. And so the same thing is here. Mind yourselves. Be mindful of what, what is your intention. I want the word of God in me, but what's my intention with the word? Right? Like God, you know how you got a woman, right? Or, or you want to date somebody, do it or however it is. And they're like, what is your intentions? What do you desire to do? Well, God is so this word is so precious. This understanding is so uh, um, profound and breaking strongholds at getting people to be shining because uh, 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 this word, it does a lot. But anyway, so God wants to know what is our intention? Well, what you want his riches for? What's your intent? What are you going to do with my riches? Because it's to give. God's riches ain't to store up here, here. It's to give out. Why do you think God need ministers of the gospel? What do we minister? His word. So I get the word to minister. What's your intention? Do you want to have Jesus on a high pedestal or yourself? Right? So let's talk about it. It says, wherefore have we afflicted our soul and thou takest no knowledge when you kill the flesh? That's showing God that you want the things of the spirit. But again, you can kill the flesh, but your mind ain't doing it ain't for God. You just want his wisdom so that you might be glorified so that they might honor you. And not that you might honor God and God honor you at the end when you've done this thing the way that he asked for us to do so. Anyway, let's keep going. Right. God said, behold, in the day of your fast, ye find pleasure and exact all your labor. So God is saying that you find a pleasure in this. You find a pleasure. This is a fasting. This isn't about pleasure. Fasting isn't about you. Fasting isn't about what you can gain of the world and what you can gain from man seeing you have wisdom on high. Fasting is for you to be able to what? Repair breaches that you might have the peace of the living God. Fasting is for you to be able to see spiritual. Fasting is for you to be able to be direct, right? Because when I'm directing the spirit of the living God, then my words are powerful. Then many people can come to repentance because that's what I'm here to do. Bring people to repent. Right. I'm not here to store up riches on earth, but I'm here to store up riches in heaven. And that's me getting people to repent and get these hearts onto the things that where is salvation is and not where corruption and death lies. But it's all so that one might be able to truly be able to have life. Right. It's not for me, but it's for somebody else to have life. But the only way that you can get life in the spirit is to kill the flesh in order to live. Something has to die in order for you to live and I to live that eat meat. Somebody got to go kill that meat. Somebody got to kill, go kill these animals in order to live. Something has to die. That's the whole point of a fast in order for you to spiritually live. Something has to die. What did Jesus live a fasting lifestyle? That's how he kept all the power in the spirit. How did the disciples walk? They fasted, they prayed, because that's how you get all the power in the mind. The mind is stronger than the body, but you have to work it out. It is a muscle. It's muscle memory. When you work out the muscle on the power of the living God, then these thoughts that are of deviant spirits, these thoughts that are no good to you, that steal, steal your peace, when you really start to be one with the spirit, from denying the flesh, from waking up daily, day, daily crucified. Bro, we have to really crucify the flesh. Really, daily crucify your flesh. Crucify your flesh. We have to. Anyways, look look what God said. These people, behold, God said, ye fast for strife. That means they wanted to get out there and hit people with the word and bitterness. They did not love people. They fasted for strife, brother. He said that then they fasted to end debate. He said they fasted for strife and debate because when you're going into the debate, people that debate are bitter. 
That's what God calls. That's what strife. Strife is basically bitterness. They fasting so that they can have this word and not to bring salvation to nobody, but they bringing evil wickedness to people. Why? They want to be puffed up. They want to seem better than you. They want to seem like, man, I know something more. I, I, I don't do this, but you do this. And right. It's always about the game with man. And God's don't he don't want us to do nothing about game, but to give. So he says, <clears throat> behold, ye fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness. God saying debating is that's smiting with the fist of wickedness. You don't debate no truth with lies. So anybody that goes and try to debate the truth with a lie. Oh, you don't have the truth. Many people, God's people don't even debate. Why? Because the spirit in you knows that you don't debate with nobody that is speaking contrary to what you're talking. Why? Because God sends delusions. So if you see anybody debating, that's because they don't have the spirit in them because the spirit don't debate with lies. The Holy Spirit do not debate. The Holy Spirit declares and that's it. But let's keep going. It says, ye shall not fast as ye do this day. To make your voice to be heard on high. So intention. Where's your intentions? Lord, speak to your people. Is this such, is this such a fast that I have chosen? The Lord said, I didn't choose for you to fast to put yourself on high. I choose for you to fast to break the body down. If you're breaking the body down, that's you putting me on high, putting my things on high. But many people are trying to, to use that to use God's wisdom to put their self on high. That's what everybody doing right now. But look what the father said. Now watch y'all pay attention. It's not this the fast that I have chosen. To loose the bands of wickedness. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I skipped one. Sorry. It's, God said, is it such a fast that I have chosen? This is the fast he chose. A day for a man to afflict his soul. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? This is praying on your knees. And to spread sackcloth and ashes under him. Will thou call this an acceptable day to the Lord? Amen. This is what we're supposed to be doing. A day of afflicting your souls, going away from pleasure, going away from football and all of these things of the world because it ends in nothing. None of these things end in nothing. But we go away from these things that we might spiritually be in peace with the Lord, our God, and grow closer to his presence that when I'm present in the world with somebody that need his presence to get out of the world, that I could bring light to him. But all right, right, he says, is it to bow down his head as a bull rush? That's when you praying on your knees. Come on. And to spread sackcloth and ashes under him. You could get some sackcloth and ashes on Amazon, but our God is loving our God is, you know, he's graceful and he understands what we don't understand. So he see that we don't even know what sackcloth is. But if it's, but if it, but if it ring your mind like it ring mine, hey, I got me some sackcloth from Amazon and it ain't even that much. I just want to feel like them are old. I just want to feel like the, the people are old. I just want to do everything. He, it ain't nothing. We could go buy weed, money. We could spend all type of money and sort uh, uh, resources on the things of the world that brings us nothing. What will we do to, you know, bring us closer to the Lord, right? And now the Lord say, is this not? Is this is not this the fast that I have chosen? Watch what this fast does to loose the bands of wickedness. He said this loose the bands of wickedness. What's that? That's these different forms of um, anger, depression, covetousness, because it's all in the spirit. Right. Your sexual deviancy is spiritual. Our going to the world and lust is because we have not spirit submitted to the spirit. Right. There are spiritual strengths in your mind that when you've obtained it, you won't hearken to the voice of the devil no more. You'll cast that thought down because that is the power that God has through his word. He says the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. Your strength, your thoughts can't get you there. He said the weapons of our warfare, that form, that lust that you're trying to fight, that evil sickness. And brothers, we might want to kill it now because it, the end of lust is deep, demonic. The end of, uh, of where this vessel is taking us when we don't get that porn cleaned up, it, it, it's demonic. It's demonic. You can feel your, you can feel yourself going further and further, further away from where you was long, years ago. First, it was natural, natural, or what you thought to be natural when it wasn't. But I'm telling you, it's go that naturalness or whatever you think. It gets more polluted. The body gets evil and it waxes wet. It, it waxes old. It waxes wicked, right? But this is what the fast does. God said it loosed the bands of wickedness. But again, don't just think about the flesh. What did Jesus do? Jesus came to give you the solution. 
The solution was the mind. So if you could get your mind onto the things of God, if I could just think on heavenly images more than I think of the porn images that was in my mind, what? Then I will have more peace. If I don't think, it's the, it's the thought that'll take me away. It's the thought that'll take me away. It's the thought that once I think it, it's like, uh, well, if lust conceives, then there is sin. God says if that thought pop in and they conceive in your mind, then there sin has to make manifest through the flesh. One of the verses says, son, cause, let not thy mouth cause thee to sin. So that be our mind. It's the words. It's also the words we speak. It's the words and the songs that we are let, let into our minds. These sexual promiscuous songs. It's these evil and demonic songs that you got to let go. Why? Because these words carry the power of what you'll do. What you'll walk in your mind is what your life is going to reflect. But God says to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens. Come on. This fast, he said, it loose the bands of wickedness. It undo it, uh, to undo the heavy burdens. And to let the oppressed go free. And that ye break every yoke. God said you'll break every, you know what yoke is? Everything that you are enslaved to. If we just started to fast and submit to his way. All you got to do is do what he said. Do he do the rest. We submit to doing the fast. And he, and the power of the living God will do the rest. But he said this fasting that he has chose. They don't want to talk about it. It break every yoke. It break every yoke. It break every yoke of bondage. It doesn't matter what your bondage is. If you want freedom, the Lord is granting you freedom if you will submit to his ways. Amen. Hey, I appreciate that, big bro. But y'all, we got to break these things because really some of y'all out there, brothers, and God is saying this because some of y'all know that y'all are called. I love when God starts to speak. Some of y'all out there are so called. If you hear this, you know you call. And the only way that you're going to operate in that fullness of your gift that Jesus Christ has blessed you with, the only way that you're going to understand the gift that Jesus got you, gave you, is when you fast, you're going to find the you that you don't even know is true. But the you is hidden. The you is, 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 is hidden down by all of these emotions, about all these things. It's, it's hidden down because you think that, you, that God needs you to be somebody in the world to be affected for his kingdom. But no, he needs you to give up the world. He needs you to kill who you wanted to be in the world that you might operate in a spiritual kingdom some of y'all out there got spiritual power to cast out demons but you have not awakened yourself to the righteous lifestyle that will allow for you to see that you hear me some of y'all ain't awoken to that yet why because you're 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 you're, you're who you are ain't in it ain't in the world it's in the spirit you think that god needs you to get rich no god needs you to get rich because your power ain't in the world your power ain't in your thoughts but your power is in serving him in righteousness and we need y'all some of y'all got powerful voices some of y'all are about to, the enemy is about to be shaken up some of y'all god is about to use in the mighty name of jesus christ to waken god's people up nobody really wants to be used by god because they don't see the pay but in judgment day they're going to see the pay and going to regret that they didn't sell out you have to sell out now and when you sell out on a god that you know is true on a god that you know is good and that could never lie your eternal riches is going to be better with you than what you can fathom because god is greater than what you can think that's the god that we serve you got to live in faith because god is greater than what you can think because his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are much more higher than our ways God, his ways for you is in fasting. Go and find yourself. Go and find the power that God wants to have and give to you. It is not in the world. It ain't in these false preachers. It ain't in these YouTube videos. It's not in me talking to you right now other than the fact that you go and fast and pray. Let's keep talking about this because I need y'all to see what this fast is going to do for you. God needs soldiers right now. God need men. He need men and women of God to be vessels that his spirit can operate out of so that somebody can be saved. This is why we live our life like unto living sacrifices. But if you don't kill your flesh, then the, the spirit can't live out you. If you don't kill your flesh, the spirit can't live out you. Many people need Jesus right now and they don't know that they need Jesus. Many people need Jesus is the whole word. Jesus is truth. Jesus is transformation, not just speaking him. Jesus is a spirit. And if we're walking with Jesus, we need to be operating in him. But I'm, I'm, I'm good, bro. You good. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about that, bro. I'm literally preaching. You don't got to keep texting me. But look. All right. Let's, let's read, bro. Please listen. Watch. Because it's, it's more than just, you know, wanting the spirit of God, right? He says, it, it'll let the oppressed go free. And that ye break every yoke. 
Now watch this. This is what we also do during the fast. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. It's to go away from pandering to my flesh that I might give to somebody else, man. That is why we fast. And the light, that's the light of God. You're willing to die a day that somebody else could live. You're willing to die a day. You're willing to go away from pain. You're willing to go away from pleasures that ain't taking you. No, that shows that you understand the cost that Jesus gave. That understands that you, that shows that you love your brothers. That serves, that right there shows God that look, I am willing to sacrifice my life if it means that my brothers can live. That's love. Let me give, the word says, hereby perceive we the love of God. Is that he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. This is laying down your life for the brothers. The more spiritual strength you got, the more wisdom you got, all of that money, that wife, I'm telling you, they will come. Whatever convenient for you, trust me, when you get in the spirit, you don't want riches. And you only want what's convenient because you already got riches. Go and get your salvation. Truly, no more of this speaking Christ, but ain't living in his spirit. His spirit is for peace even here now. But you're going to have to kill the flesh to get it. So it's a battle. So don't think it's just come easy. It's a fight. It's a war that you got to fight. Watch. Y'all saw it. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him. And, when, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. And really, uh, when I think about that spiritually, when I do these things, what God gives you a, a flip side spiritually to that. Now, when I see somebody that is hungry, that need the spirit, I can pour into them. They can get spiritual food because man can't live off bread alone. But to every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God and the word of God is more food than food. Because Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Bread ain't the bread of life. It's just bread for the body. It don't actually produce life in the spirit. It's just life for the body. But do you have life in the spirit? So you could also give them life in life. Bread for the body, but also bread for the spirit while you're going away from the things in the world to give them that meal. Give them Christ. Right? The poor that are cast out to the house. Well, the house that they are, many people cast them out. They don't want to fellowship with them. And so I bring you into my house, which is my soul. I let you see what God has done for me. I let you see that the amenities and the way that God has decorated my house with my nice things. Because many times people will kick you out their house if you're dirty, if you're poor, if you don't have the things that they have. And so it's spiritual. But letting people, uh, putting people on a higher pedestal that the people in the world put down because of their circumstance, put down because of what they look like, put down because of what they presume their life to be like. When we don't know them, we just presume that they got to be homeless, that they got a drug problem because they are out on the street, but you know it's not them. Presumptuous. Why? Because he who is full of sin will not do the will of God, but they will use an excuse that they might not walk in righteousness. That's why people like to do that. Amen. And that's when, when thou seest the naked. What is the naked? A man who don't have a covering from God. He's walking naked. The word even says it, that when you are out here in the spiritual war and if these demons, they're going to laugh at you if they see you naked. If they're going to laugh at you, if they don't see you with that cloak or that armor on, why? Because they are out here to get you to drop that. If they, if they don't see you with your pants on, if you ain't got your pants on, they laughing at you. It's the same thing in the spiritual realm. You ain't got your garments on, they laughing at you. In the spiritual realm, brothers, don't think so much of the flesh. These spirits is trying to deceive you. They're trying to, to seduce you, trying to get you angry, trying to get you mad, trying to get you sad that you might operate in their things. Because they always play on your mind. They play on your soul. But when you fast and you kill the desires of this body, ain't no more playing on my soul. Ain't no more playing on my mind because this mind ain't the mind that I once had. It's the mind of Christ. And guess what? The Lord can't be tempted with evil. Neither does he tempt with evil. So when the Lord is in me and I call on the Lord, hey, Abba, they hear again. The Lord can't be tempted with evil. My father show up and he fight the fight for me because know ye not that your body, that your, your body is the temple of the spirit of God and that the spirit of God dwell in you. He fights the fight. If you step, take a step back, then he can fight for you. Right? When we do these things, this is Isaiah 58, 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. He said, your light go break forth as the morning and thine health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee. What's the righteousness? That Not the body. 
not the wickedness of the body, not pride, not the, not, it's the righteousness when you kill this body is the love of God, is the compassion of God, is the mercies of God, is the spirit of the living God. If you don't understand it, cause you got to kill your flesh to understand what peace does for somebody that ain't got a, got peace with a little bit of something, me giving away something so that somebody else can have what it does and how it shines light and how it increases belief in God because you don't know what you gave. He prayed. When we give, somebody pray for what you gave and you don't even know the power that God, God is moving. He's always moving and no one's talking about the truths. All right, let's do this though. Anyway, it says, health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. What is that? The glory of the Lord. Power over all serpent spirits. Power over all evil thoughts. Power in the name of Jesus Christ that you might operate in the spirit and be able to be in peace. That's the glory of the Lord that he wants to give to you. Dominion. Power to bind. Bound and bind. To loose and loosen. Amen. To trample upon all serpents and all scorpions and all powers of the devil and nothing shall by no means hurt you. This is what happens when we deny the serpent. The flesh is the serpent. You have to kill him, break him down that he might submit to going without that the spirit could submit to going with God and walking with him. It says. Then shalt thou call. And the Lord shall answer. Whew. Thou shall cry. And he shall say. Here I am. That's a real father now. You're really in the spirit. He said you shall cry. You didn't even have to call on him. He said you're going to cry. He's going to be right there saying. Here I am. Here I am. This is the power of the living God. You don't have. The, the power of God is. Just do what I tell you to do. And you'll see what I said is true. Just obey me. And you'll see the power after. That's the power of God. He speaks and then he manifests. But if you if you could submit, then it could be manifested unto you. Not through your own manifestation, but through God. Because we can't manifest nothing. But, the, but what's in us? You can reveal what's in you. Through what you do in your life and what you speak out your mouth. God says this. If thou take away from thee the mist of the yoke. The putting forth of the finger and speaking vanity. You hear what he's saying? He's, he wants us to put off the flesh. The putting forth of the finger always accusing people because of what they did in their flesh. Speaking vanity. Speaking things of the world. Sp talking about sports and football. The things that ain't going to help nobody in the spirit. See, see many people ain't going to want to do this. Many people don't want to stop talking about sex and sports and, 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 and secular things of the world. But this is why they won't ride on the high places of God. They won't get the spirit. They won't operate in the spirit. And if you ain't operating in the spirit, man, you operating in something else. And then if something else is you're operating in and it ain't in the spirit of God, then that means Satan operating in you because there's many spirits of devils. There's many demonic spirits. One man got a spirit casted out of him and he had legion in him. What a, a thousand devils, a thousand, a thousand devils in one person, a thousand. There is only one spirit that is of Christ. And that is Christ. Everything else is of the world. Every other thought that is in it that ain't in this word is not of God. Don't nobody really want to believe it. All right. It says, if thou take away the midst of the yoke, the putting forth of the finger and speaking vanity. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, going hungry so that somebody else could have, do you give? And satisfy the afflicted soul. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity. He said, your light going to rise in obscurity, right? In thy darkness be as the noon that y'all don't even know what he said. He said, your light going to rise in obscurity. Obscurity is darkness. So whenever there's darkness in your in your days, whenever there's darkness uh, 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 present in your life because your bills or whatever happened in your world, whatever it might be. He said, because you have done the things that God has chose and, and called for you to do when when it get bad for you. God going to be there. The light going to rise. You going to have peace there. When the enemy thought that he's about to bring you into the pit, well, you going to have peace there. Why? Because you are doing the things that are spiritual and you know how to what? Deny the flesh. You know how to go and grab and the peace and joy in the spirit because you live in the spirit. You don't live in the flesh. And it says, in thy darkness be as the noonday. He says, so when you are in a dark, dark place, position in your life it'll be at a, as the lightest part of you your the, the light the darkest darkness in you will be as the lightest part of the day that's what god says there is no darkness in you 
at all whatsoever. If the darkest part of you is light, there is no darkness at all. He's saying that you'll repair all breaches. You'll have all those evil thoughts rooted out. Why? Because it's in the mind. It's in the words. That's why he said before that, if thou shalt put a for put a, um, you know, uh, when it, uh, uh, put, if thou take away from thee the, the, the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, most time when people do that, they are sinners. Many people that they, they just try to get you to see somebody else sin so that you can't see their own sin. That's why people port the finger. Right? And so he's showing like when they bring when people ain't pointing the finger at everybody, they point it at them. Why? Because they already know that all men are sinners. All men are evil. All men are wicked, right? And that means you can tell the truth when it, when you're walking in it. The truth is that all men, when you are in the spirit, you're gonna see yourself for what you are, a sinner that needs the love of Christ Jesus, that needs to operate in the spirit, because you got this vessel of wickedness on you at all times. And that's what you are able to see in the truth. When you are in the spirit, the spirit is the truth. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth and the life. Right. And he is that spirit. He is that spirit of truth that when you are in it, you can see yourself. It ain't about them. It's about me. You ain't mad at the world. You're mad at yourself. People don't hate the people in the world. They hate their own soul. They just don't know it. How you treat people is a reflection of how you see yourself. And it says, and the Lord shall guide thee continually because the lord is the truth he's the spirit that if i'm if i'm not in my flesh and i'm in his spirit i'm praying to him and i'm fasting to get his things well his word is going to guide me continually and it says and satisfy thy soul and drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring like a spring of water whose waters fail not. That's peace to the spirit. That's life to the spirit. Many of us want to die. Many of us want the, many of us think we need money, but you need the spirit. When you got more of the spirit of God, you don't want the things in the world. It's peace. That's what the spirit is. It provides you peace that you need not to spoil. When you got Christ in your mind, trust me, the money you don't need, you don't care for. Paul was locked up. Was he cared? Well, Paul, bro, you know how it feels to be locked up. I don't know if you do, but Paul was locked up, but he was in the spirit. He was no, he was not locked up at all. That's what the spirit is. It doesn't matter what the circumstances is. It's all that matters is what's going on in your mind. All that matters is what's going on in your mind. You could be out with your friends, amen. But if your mind is set forward on that woman that you're thinking about or that man you're thinking about, you ain't having no good time. You can laugh and smile all you want, but innerly you're tortured. Innerly you're tormented, amen. Am I not speaking the truth? Because this right here just shows that outerly you can be faking, but innerly you, that, that truth going to be present. All right, though. And then it says, and they that shall be of thee. So those people that do these things, that fast, that stop doing the things that the Lord tell them to do and make it be about the Lord and be about giving to others. It says, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shall rise up the foundations of many generations and thou shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the past to dwell in. This is what you'll be called in the heavens all the way from many generations ago. Sin has brought down the walls to protect us. And God says that if we fast and do it his way, then you'll repair a breach of waste. Father, you'll repair something that no one of old done. Will you be the one who go and do that in the sight of God? Everybody want to be the one out of their generation to be the one that been the first to go to college, to be the first one that did the things of the world. But none of those things going to benefit in the day of judgment. But this right here will benefit being one that they call the repairer of the breach. What? What? Why? It says, it says, thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. If this ain't striking the spiritual core to you, it's because your mind is, you ready to rise up foundation, a spiritual disarray, a, a spiritual, a, a, of carnal poverty that ain't gonna help nobody. That carnal poverty, that ain't gonna help nobody nothing. But this spirit here, you rising up peace. You rising up love. You rising up those who really love God. But the thing is, many people don't love God. So that's why this ain't really doing nothing. It says the repairer. Wow. Doing the things that God called his fast, you repair a breach. Sin is a breach. Sin is a breach that ain't supposed to be in. And God said when we fast and we do the things that we are supposed to do, which is just follow his word, we will be called the repairer of the breach. It says the restorer. So you went in and restored a path to dwell in because that. That sexual coveted spirit, these sexual deviant spirits, they came down. And the, the, the sins of a father passed down. The sins of a of, a, of the father passed down. And so God is choosing any one of y'all right now who wants to see if you don't break it, it's going to fall to your kid. If you don't break it, your daughter breaking it. And uh, somebody going to have to break it or everybody going to get uprooted. If y'all don't break it, it's going to break you.
Gonna break your whole family. Watch this though, it ain't done. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy own pleasure on my holy day, the Sabbath day is a holy day unto God. Friday night to Saturday night, start praying. Get in the spirit, ask God to lead you to keep in this holy day, man, because this is a perpetual. The Sabbath is a perpetual decree for God, all of Israel, for generations to generations to generations. Even when Israel was in Babylon, even when they was over in these places, uh, 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 Rome and all these different places where God had them captive. Guess what? They still was keeping the Shabbat. They still was going after God's holy days, even when in persecution, even when dying, still going after his persecution, still doing it. He said, post your cash app. Uh, I think it's in my uh, it's on my page, sis. It's on my page. It's uh, it's just Jamal Brown 24, but it is on my page. I appreciate you. He said, what book are we in? We in um Isaiah right now, bro. Isaiah 58. And I'm just kind of going over the whole Isaiah 58, man. We got to get these. We got to get this in. We got to get the mind, right? Folk fi fixated on God because that's what the sin is. The sin is in the mind, right? Not having the spiritual strengths, right? And it ain't just, you know, it ain't just sin because we don't desire. We're not walking with it in your mind and we're not. We're walking with it uh. You know, um, I do got zeal, but I, I, uh, after, afterwards, sis, I, uh, y'all willing be able to, uh, send you, uh, whatever you need. I appreciate you. But yeah, Isaiah 58, um, 13, where we at now. All right. And we basically, um, well, yeah. All right. Uh, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight, brothers, this take time for you to be able to see the Sabbath as a delight, to see the Sabbath as a delight. Um, one, the Sabbath is now on the day while we're in the time of the Gentiles. This is the most fun day Friday night to Saturday night, bro. This is where everybody is really having the most fun. This is where sin is really most prevalent because we are in the land of Gentiles. It is a trap to catch everybody that's of J the Judah, all of Judah that ain't really in the spirit. They're going to get caught on them Friday nights and get caught on them Saturday nights and they're not going to be in the spirit, brother. This is serious work. This is serious, serious work. God got his rules. He got his laws here just to see who abiding in my spirit. When you're not abiding in the spirit of the living God, you're doing your own thing. You don't even know that this is even the thing that God wants for us. Because the false teachers, the false preachers don't speak on it. They don't, don't, they don't speak on you doing things for God. It's just all about what God could do for you. They talk about sin, but they don't ever talk about the depths of sin. They just try to make you think that sin is you cursing people. Man, sin is so much more high. Sin is you cursing people, but it's also are you obeying God's word? To the fullest. It says, blessed is he who feareth always. That means in everything that I'm doing, I'm mindful of what he would do. In every way that I go in my work in my mind, I'm mindful of how he would walk. And always, it means that I don't want to walk in my righteousness and nothing that I do. I don't, that's fearing God always. I don't want to do nothing that I would do. God, what would you do? Because I know if I get to doing anything, I'm going further away from you. I can't do nothing. God said that man can't do nothing. It is impossible. It's impossible for man to do anything. Some of y'all asking questions that don't matter. You asking about how many heavens there's going to be? Then that show right now, brother, your mind ain't in the heavens. It, 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 there's heavenly places. So that the, 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 the heavenly places, the sky is a heavenly place. The, the spirit is a heavenly place. Then there's the heaven heavens. I don't know how many heavens it is. Why? I'm Because I, I, I'm trying to make sure that I'm living and doing everything that I need to do to get there. And talking about how many heavens it is ain't going to help me get to heaven. But to talk about this going to help me get to heaven. That right there is just something to be distracted over because the enemy just wants y'all to be distracted and being a major and minors. Like worried about the small things. And it's like you ain't worried about the bigger things, which is your mind being right and set upon the things on heaven that's how you get in the heavens by having your mind set in the heavens and not worrying about how many heavens it is i'm just saying i'm just saying bro i'm not trying to offend you i'm just saying that really the devil really just wants to take your mind and like see how you do that then i'll go away and get distracted because that's all he wants he just wants distraction that's all but uh anyways though um he said uh if thou shalt turn away if thou turn away thy foot from the sabbath from doing thy pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord. This day, he said, the set apart day of the Lord. This is a day that you're supposed to set apart only for him. But, and it's supposed to be for you. But if you don't know this, oh well, the holy of the Lord, honorable and shall honor him. This is how you honor God, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord. 
Mm, the Lord is peace and you'll have delight in his spirit on that day that if we would make this a delight, it will be a delight unto us. But you have to make it a delight. This is an acquired taste. It says, then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord and I, the Lord talking, will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. That's the spirit and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. So now you'll be on the high places. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. When you're in the spirit, there's absolutely nothing that the enemy can do to you to bring you down. Right. You need to go get in the spirit because the spirit is a high place. When you're in the spirit, it don't matter. Go see any time Paul was broke. He didn't care that he was broke. He, he 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 liked going through afflictions. Paul said, I glory in my infirmities. Why? That the power of God may rest upon me. When you are fasting, you're going to see yourself as a sinner. Why? So that the power of God can rest upon you, which is the truth. Which is peace because you know that if I think that I'm nothing and I think that he is all, then he is my appropriation. He is my redeemer. We got to be abased so that he can abound. The less of me I am, the more of God can people see in me. Then I don't want you to see Jamal of who I used to be. I want you to see God in me, the transformation that he done through me. So much that you're like, bro, was you really on O Block? This nigga was a lame. This nigga went out there doing that. That's what they see now. Yes, call me what you want. That's the transformation that I'm no longer what I used to be. Even to myself, I wake up and like, God, I am, uh, I'm, I'm just in awe of your word and, and of the things that you do, right? But yeah, that's what I got, bros. If y'all just clicking on this, I'm about to drop it on YouTube so it can be better. I know you try to click and click and click. It's a little different, but we got to fast. We got to repair the breaches. Nobody is talking about this. We living in sin. We living in these things. We living in these jokes. We still got these jokes on our on our necks. And all we got is these preachers, these preachers, and they not telling us how to break the yokes. We got to fast, bro. Go fast. Go work out your salvation through fear and trembling, bro, because ain't nobody going to work it out for you. Everybody going to use you for your bread, man. These preachers going to use you for your money, man. They going to use you for your money. That's all they doing. We ain't nothing but dollar signs to these people's brothers. That's all we are. We're dollar signs, man. That's why nobody really want to bring truth to you. Somebody that love you going to tell you the truth. Somebody because they want you to do better. Somebody that got the truth, they tell you the truth because they want you to do better. They don't have the truth, so they can't tell the truth, and they know not to love us. He said, where can we find you on YouTube? I post all my videos and my story, but my YouTube just came from nothing. My YouTube came from nothing podcast. I'm about to post this video with a link in there when I get back to the crib. Probably going to take like 20 minutes, but y'all even got in here. That's just going to be for all of the people that's on YouTube to watch it. Main thing, though, let's kill the flesh, brothers. We got to really, 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 really just just watch tonight. All of y'all that's watching right now, man. Y'all going to see we thinking and keeping our mindset on the things of the Lord. Um, But but to, but late at night, these other different things start to come up. And it's just it's hell. And it's hell in our mind, man. And we got to be in the spirit. We got to be in the spirit with our life and peace, brother. So I'm going to end this, man. Value Christ over y'all life. Let's stay in the spirit. Let's do the will of the Lord, man.